Six weeks after three Burnsville first responders were killed in the line of duty, police responding to an eerily similar situation in that city. Thankfully, this time a very different outcome. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey joining us now. And so, Courtney, Burnsville police responding to reports of gunfire inside a home last night, which led to an eight-hour-long standoff. Yeah, Kelsey, neighbors say the woman barricaded herself inside the home, eventually apprehended with the help of a canine officer. That community now expressing gratitude for the officers who showed up to help. I mean, it was scary enough when it happened on the other side of Burnsville, but right here, wow. Joni Martinson says she's grateful Saturday night standoff at the end of her street ended the way it did. The special education teacher displaying signs in her yard in remembrance of the three first responders who lost their lives during a similar situation last month. My heart goes out to them. My heart just breaks for the whole department and all the departments in the area. Burnsville police say they responded to this mobile home community on the south side of town around 8.30 last night on reports of a gunshot. When they arrived, the female suspect refused to come out, prompting the evacuation of several neighboring homes and the start of an hours-long negotiation. Jose Ramirez says he made the initial 911 call. She looked very out of it, so I kind of came back and tried to see if she was okay. And that's when we kind of heard a, a pop song. Ramirez says it all started when the woman forced herself into his uncle's car and was acting strangely. Not long after he coaxed her out, he says he heard the gunshot. He says responding officers were quick and fearless. They took precautions. They evacuated everyone. I feel like they did an amazing job. Their actions leaving quite the impression as these neighbors recognize just how much they've been through recently. These guys could have faced the same faced the same thing and came in for like fearless people. Burnsville police officers were assisted by several other departments last night. In fact, it was the Tri-City Tactical Team that led negotiation efforts, and it was two of their people who were injured. Burnsville could not confirm if any of the responding officers last night were also on the scene of the tragic events on February 18th. Kelsey? All right, thank you, Courtney.